How's the lovely people? Good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Hopefully you're all doing good. I'm doing series of reviews today. I'm turning to 42 today. So thank you so much for all your advance wishes. Uh, uh, I know you're going to be wishing me and stuff. Thank you so much for your lovely uh, support all the time. So uh, I have finally bought the fragrance that I was very hyped about. I'll tell you something funny, a few things about this fragrance. It's not a very expensive perfume, to be honest. It's not like that, you know, I had to save for 10 years to buy this. No. But uh, this fragrance is called Al Haramain Detour Noir. Um, it's a release of 2021, perhaps two years or so. And this is a known, one of the best known D DNA or clone of Parfum de Marley Layton, which I put it side by side. Um, so I will do a little bit of comparison also with uh, one of the other ones, which is called Loyal Agar by uh, Luxodor. So I will compare this one with both these. So uh, many people love Layton. Layton is a fragrance that gets a lot of hype known to be one of the best sellers in bangladesh at least this one sells the most from this house and later exclusive is one of my favorites with that oud note so this one uh, some people say it's uh Leighton is similar to uh, in a boss bottle in a way like more spicy more masculine longer lasting version i absolutely had beast mode bottle here like i had an older style bottle or older batches so this Leighton really 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 performs on me very satisfied with this fragrance the new version i don't know how it is but exclusive is good so detour noir before i start the review let me tell you the story with it because every sing single fragrance has some story more or less so this one i saw hype you know like a lot of community members like i got at least 21 at least i counted 21 requests to do this review from uh, different countries my country and i was like hmm, it was selling for some people are selling for 15 bucks you know like one or two sprays missing i'm like oh it's cheap you know i would buy it but for some reason I decided not to buy it for some reason it's not i didn't i decided it's just i couldn't end up buying it you know and then later on when i really had a craving uh, people are selling it for now 21 dollars i'm like oh it already went up six dollars i'm like nah i'm not gonna do it you know <laughs> in the meantime i bought so many more expensive perfumes but i ended up buying not this one then i went al haramain one fine day i determined you know i'm determined i'm gonna go buy this i went al haramain near my area and they have one and uh, sadly al haramain in bangladesh is uh, the well, I would say the worst experience if you are looking to buy perfumes, they are expensive because in Dubai, sadly, their uh, head office is in Dubai. The owner is Bangladeshi, but our country, they don't offer very good prices because I think it's the import duty or something. So they become super expensive, like double the price of Dubai. So we tend to buy fragrances from uh, Middle Eastern countries than Bangladesh. So now it's selling for $26 in Al Haramain or maybe 35 I don't know. So I have recently bought it from one shop here called MMC. Uh, it wasn't $15, of course. It was around that <laughs> high uh, retail price. So, of course, they are giving me best prices. So I have no complaints. So uh, you can buy from wherever you want. So that's the reason I couldn't buy before. I just recently was like, yeah, I'll take it. I saw it. I take it. So this is the packaging. I reviewed the decant, not decant, uh, uh, flanker to this called Detour uh, Rouge. That one was a clone of sort of like Versace Eros Flame was okay but this is actually good i'll tell you packaging looks basic uh al haramans i think this is their more affordable line so they <clears throat> do not bother keeping very very premium looking boxes but they're expensive ones they do have nice box nice bottle presentation this is like a typical cardboard box and it says detour and i don't know why the noir is there perhaps there is a detour there haramine detour perhaps like i know noir and um, rouge bottle here it's not very good looking also i don't like this bottle okay i'm telling you frankly these look cheap if you see this in any random shop you'll not be interested in these you know you, it looks like like a you know those five ten dollar colognes that you see in different stores like they have middle eastern typical middle eastern smells says al harmain juice color is yellowish and i and the curve is nice but the bottle doesn't evoke feel of luxury very cheap plastic cap i hate this you know i'm pretty sure it's gonna go bad over the years and uh, it is sometimes a bit tough to, you know, close also. Yeah, it's okay. So the my good friend Thomas, you know, uh, he said he hates this bottle, but he loves this juice. We'll see why. So let me spray this actually. Cap is light. Sprayer. Let's see. Okay, small sprayers. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I can hear the sound from that, uh, you know, atomizer. <laughs> My friend, I used to have a friend, I'm sorry, he used to be studying with me in uh, Malaysia and his name was Yusuf, right? He was from Dubai. 
So he used to make this, uh, you know, like he, we, we used to have fun, you know, it used to be stupid little fun. We used to be like watching Russell Peters a lot. So he'd be like, so, so, you know, like uh, Susu's milk. So he would go to canteen and say, uh, Abang, Satu mango banana, so, so. That means basically in Bahasa Malay, it means like he wants a juice, mango, banana, and milk. Milk is susu. So he would say, so, so. Anyway, so the spray reminds me of that. Sorry. And uh, let me spray a little bit of loyal lager on my hand. My bottle is uh, almost finished. I need to get a backup of this. This is my favorite so far. Uh, much better spray. Okay, so we'll compare this. That's why I sprayed here side by side. So let's talk about Detour Noir. Official notes breakdown almond or almond. Jasmine, cypress, middle notes are amber, cedar, heliotrope, uh, base notes are vanilla, musk, and sandalwood. So basically, let's talk about Leighton first because Leighton is the reason why these things exist because it's very similar, all very so, also very similar. Leighton, as I told you, massive love for this. I love, I reviewed many perfume de Marlies. I uh, owned at least, I think, 15 or 16 perfume de Marlies. So I can tell you, like, yeah, safe to say I know this house a little bit. Uh, my one of my most favorites if you ask me top three easily uh, uh, Parfum de Marley's performer beast. This one is a compliment magnet I gave compliments to people and I think this is as good of a level of Aventus if you talk about compliments Okay, this one similar uh, compliment zone. So performance wise massive 125 mil excellent niche perfume Okay, and a crowd pleaser designer vibish so which makes it so much um, You know popular you see Percival similar sort of designer vibes, but also gives me uh, compliments. So Leighton, I felt was a niche version of Hugo Boss bottle, even though they're not the same, but I got this warm apple spiced vibe from this, which is the reason I love Leighton. So Leighton, it's expensive for most people. At Like currently for me, uh, if I have to buy this bottle retail, I wouldn't do it. It's out of my price list because I rather buy five good designer perfumes over a $200 fragrance. Uh, but if you can get it like 150 bucks, it's a good price now, okay? so. That's latent for you. So if you can't afford it, you have to look for alternatives. So Detour Noir, for me, when I smell it, it's a very beautiful fragrance. Very beautiful. It is a shame they put this in this kind of a cheap bottle. I will not be biased towards this fragrance bottles. Okay. The presentation is so cheap. I wish. I mean, just take a look at Loyal Agar. You know, I'm like, not to want to compare, but uh, price range wise, this one is going to be like 10 or $5 more. I think it's a smaller bottle, like uh, 80 ml or so. I don't, I don't remember. Let me check. This is a uh, 80 ml. Man, the writings are too small. Man, 2.7 fluid ounces. I think 80 ml. Yeah. But check this out. Look at the bottle difference, quality glass difference, heavy bottle. And this one comes with a magnetic cap and also has detailing on the atomizer. So presentation matters, man. This juice, if it was in this bottle, I would love it or something nicer looking bottle that would be lovely but it's okay it is what it is so the presentation i will give it zero no mark for presentation but the juice is beautiful guys it's a sweet um, there is that almond that they talk about uh, but it's not a bitter al almond like uh, parfum de marley's uh, was that one pegasus it's not that it doesn't have anything bitterness but it's a sweet warm again that i'm getting that apple pie sort of vibe if not apple pie warm apples okay Reminds me of Hugo Boss bottle sweetness. Very beautiful. Even the juice color is similar. So I really like it. It's got this beautiful smoothness about it. It's a pretty frag. Definitely pretty fragrance for pretty boys. <laughs> um, it's a fragrance that anybody can wear. It doesn't have a very mature vibe. Like I would say Leighton has this maturity about it. This one is less smoky. It's more clean. It's less smoky. And definitely the opening is beautiful. It's uh, fragrance that will uh, be loved by many in the opening spray but it also has this kind of like this uh, vanillic property that Leighton has that gives the sweetness of the backbone with a little bit of woodiness uh, it's a very simple perfume okay so I would say it reminds me of YSL Loam as well okay so a little bit of that but uh, the fragrance uh, it, many people ask me is the drawback the main reason is the drawback of performance issues well I'll tell you one thing Loyal Agar performs uh, better okay latent uh, there's no question this one lasts out outperforms both these but i got decent three and a half hours in bangladesh okay i in this high heat in the ac room so you can figure if you stay outdoors maybe it is not a fragrance i would recommend for all there or you'll get compliments unless you go heavy but i even if you spray heavy i don't think it's gonna choke anybody or will do wonders so performance wise it's average okay 
on my bottle at least i don't know other bottles but mine performs okay i would not say very poor but average but some of you may have older batches can get better if you live in a better country with no pollution you get better performance in the office setup let's say uk or if you're living in ireland or somewhere you know usa where it's kind of stays cool some zone this is a fragrance tool decent longevity will be decent above average projection on this it's uh, not massive also it's uh, also above average i would say overall like 6.5 to 7 so if you can score this under 20 bucks yeah that i would not think people would mind because you know it does what it's supposed to it it replicates latent but more fruity less smoky less dark version so when you say compare this with loyal agar i would say i'll pick loyal agar okay uh, i have to get a backup bottle of this because this is quality luxador man their oil quality it's so good i'll just tell you this house in swiss arabian they are unbelievable kind of like the oil they produce i'm not saying haramai's oil quality is bad they're good also but comparison wise this atm bottle will beat this one because i can smell it on my right hand man it's beautiful loyal agar it's beautiful uh but uh Dito noir smells like 75 percent vibes or 70 percent vibes of latent that's what i'll give an approximate estimation it's not a, like exact science or anything so out of these two i'll pick loyal agar uh, as a winner so up to you if you pay a little bit more you get better quality but if you don't have that cash 20 dollars, you also get a decent smelling fragrance similar to comparable to latent somewhat but ultimately if you have the cash if you love this real thing uh, save up your money and get a 75 mil bottle or latent exclusive uh, the big bottle man that will serve you many years will get you compliments in the winter you can be the boss okay this is a compliment magnet so last thing i'll tell you <clears throat> someone yesterday commented one of the brothers i think from bangladesh commented brother i bought haramain Dito noir and my bottle smells nothing like latent because i smell latent before and it smells like a totally different fragrance and i was a bit shocked uh, reason being i have seen haramain doing this before they had this line called amberwood and they had a tobacco veni clone uh, which is called uh, tobacco edition i bought it you know like later on but i remember vividly uh, al haramain's one fragrance of this line or something uh, they changed the formulation one clone was of tobacco veni i don't remember it's not this fragrance but i forgot the name honestly speaking but same bottle same name one was a clone of tobacco veni other one was a clone of Erbakur or something like that so i was like they are not the same fragrance at all what's happening so they do change the juice inside keeping the same name same bottle which is very confusing okay uh it's it, it's happened with haramain before so i'm not surprised i will not be surprised if the juice in this has changed in the same name so perhaps i'll go to hal haramain and i'll check the new batches and ask them what's happening but if that's the case i would say if you like this fragrance get two three backup bottles if they change the juice already uh, because two three bottles will do really good for a few years so uh, that's one heads up thank you to the thanks to the brother okay but apart from that my so far the one that i bought it smells like latent 70 75 percent so it's not the best clone out there but in this price range if it's 21 22 pounds this is actually very good because you get 100 ml it's good smelling fragrance decent longevity um, everything is just nice about it. there's nothing to say oh synthetic alcohol -y. no performance it's not the uh, poor um, some of you may say it's poor it's not poor uh, it's just the high heat and all when can you wear this you can wear this mild cold weather because it has this sweetness but not super spiciness so i will not say it's a fragrance that you should only wear in winter okay you can wear this in winter fall kind of like rainy days also will be good ac room very good so overall my assessment on detour noir honestly speaking i will say loyal agar is the champion here as an alternative of layton this one i'll give 7.5 out of 10 and that is also just for pure love for the smell uh, if it's up to me i'll give it actually six because the ugly bottle okay that's about it thank you so much for watching guys i think rather than getting a decant or partial or small sample if you want to get this fragrance just get the full bottle that would be the best value take care have a nice day see you soon bye, -bye.